I think that's really important is to just treat girls like people and not like girls. When I was growing up, my dad would be renovating houses. If I was there, I would help him build things. And they'd be like, okay, hand me this tool or pick this up. That was why I never saw myself as a female woodworker and saw myself as just somebody who wanted to build things. I definitely think here at Crate and Barrel, everyone really doesn't care about gender. We care about a creative idea. Loving what you do or being great at what you do is what you get respected for here. And it's not just lip service, I really believe that. I think it's the joy <laughs> to be a woman at Crate and Barrel. This is a business led by women and such a positive environment as a result. They're leading and they're building within this organization, but also bringing that confidence and authority back to their homes. I just had a baby girl, Amelia. I want her to be independent. I want her to be strong. I don't care if she's a ballerina. I don't care if she's an MMA fighter. Mostly I want her to be happy. <laughs> It is my number one commitment to my girls is to make sure that they are enriched and empowered with self-esteem. Well, they definitely have a little bit of their mama in them. I think a lot of what we're trying to do is inspire other organizations and other women out there to lead a life of creativity and contribution and demonstrate that those environments are possible and successful. It doesn't matter what you look like or who you are, it's can you do this? If you can, welcome.